Hi, I'm Lawrence Whipler. Over the past several years, I've been working on a theory of everything based on the magnetic monopole. In this video, I will show you how a superconductor works using this new theory of everything. First of all, an atom, all atoms are magnetic dipoles. Now, I've explained how that works uh, in a previous video. Now to start with, you can take just about any material that would work. Some work better than others, um, but for this example here, we'll use, say, aluminum, or actually any metal. Just, you know, any metal will work. Now here I will draw atoms as small magnetic dipoles. And here, I'll put a much larger dipole. All dipoles are created by the perpetual motion of north and south magnetic monopoles. Now your monopoles, a north monopole will move out of the south pole into the north, and a south monopole will move from the south, or the north pole into the south magnetic pole, okay? Now here I will put a magnetic line of force. Now this line of force has both north and south monopoles in it. And I just shown here as one. Now when magnets are cooled, their strength increases. Now there's a reason for that. Um, I'll explain that later. Now right now all magnets in this line passing through this line of force are going to orientate themselves with its magnetic field. In this case, they're all going straight. Now, if I were to make a smaller magnet, and the magnetic lines of force are going to cause your atoms to curve that point just like a compass needle would. In this case, they'd be pointing that direction. And when material does this, or the atoms in your, in your say, block of aluminum, <clears throat> when those atoms turn to align themselves with the magnetic lines of force, all your lines of force will be able to penetrate through this metal because all of your atoms are going to point in the same direction and allow that line of force to move through the core of that atom. Now that's what happens when these are at room temperature and where you have a, a south pole and a north pole, the strength between the two isn't very strong. When this block of metal is cooled, the strength between these two becomes increasingly stronger, the colder it becomes. It'll, it'll come to the point where these two will attract each other regardless of the external magnetic lines of force. Now let's draw this over again. Now these here are magnetic dipoles, they're atoms, okay? Here we have our dipole and our magnetic lines of force entering through it. Now as I cool this piece of metal, the atoms the North Pole and the South Pole on each of these will become increasingly stronger to where they will no longer turn like a compass needle and follow this line of force. Now since these are all strong because it's super cooled, they're not going to move. Since they're not moving, they will not allow these lines of force to enter that metal. 
causing this magnet to levitate above that piece of metal. It's levitating because the lines of force cannot enter it. Now when this is warm to room temperature, the magnetic field of those atoms becomes weaker and it becomes so weak that they no longer attract each other on their poles and they again act like a compass needle, turn, allowing this to settle into there. Now there's another way you can simulate the effect of a superconductor by using two magnets. We'll have your metal here. Let's have our metal here. These are our atoms. Our magnet. And below it we have another magnet. Now as I mentioned earlier, as the lines of force enter, the atoms will orientate themselves to point to the magnetic poles, just like a compass needle. Now, you take another magnet and do the same thing. These atoms here will point to the poles. You have the same thing on the top as the bottom. Now, when these two magnets become closer to each other, the lines of force from each at magnet are going to interfere with the other one, such as this here. Now, when that happens, it, there's a critical point where we, these two have to balance each other. Now, each line of force is going to pass through the core of this piece of aluminum. All of the atoms, magnetic field, are going to line up in a straight row. Just like they were when they were super cooled. Okay? It has the same effect. Now this is a delicate balance between these two magnets. What you'll have to do is, say, suspend this from a pole or, or a base of some sort. Um, you can also have this um, suspended as well. In this magnet here, you have to move up and down where these two equal each other. Now what will happen is this bottom one will actually levitate. The reason why it levitates is because it's competing with the lines of force here and here to allow it, the atoms, to exactly balance. Actually, your, your atoms um, act like a balancing mechanism between these two magnetic fields of these two. So it's a simple experiment you can do. Now, superconductors also have uh, low resistance to electricity. Now, I can explain that, uh, you know, in another video because it'll take a little time. Uh, you have to thoroughly understand exactly what electricity is. Thank you.